Dear students, now we are going to solve some important problems in satellite losses. The first problem, a satellite downlink at 12 GHz operates with a transmit power of 6 W and an antenna gain of 48.2 dB. Calculate the EIRP in dB watts. What is mean by EIRP? It is the equivalent isotropic radiated power which is an important parameter in satellite communication. Okay. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So what all are the data given? The frequency f is equal to 12 gigahertz. The transmit power that is source power is equal to 6 watt. The antenna gain is 48.2 dB. So here EIRP is always expressed in decibels with relative to 1 watt. So that will be used in the formula here. This is the general formula of EIRP that is equal to PS plus G. So here the square bracket represents the values are in dB. For this power the value is dB watt. For gain its unit is dB only. Okay. So here EIRP is equal to PS that is the transmit power plus gain. So next we have to substitute these values here. In the problem they have given us the power value in watts. So we have to convert that watt into dB watts. For that we can multiply this value 10 log of this 6 watt. As I mentioned EIRP is always expressed in decibels with relative to 1 watt. So we have to compare with this 1 watt. So EIRP is equal to 10 log 6 watt by 1 watt plus the gain value is 48.2. So here 10 log 6 is nothing but 7.7815. We can simply add these two values. We can get 55.98 dB watts. So we can round off this value as 56. So this is the EIRP for the given data. Okay. The next problem. The range between the ground station and a satellite is 42,000 km. Calculate the free space loss at 6 GHz frequency. So in the solution part we have to write the given data. The range that is 42,000 km. That is the distance between ground station and satellite. Okay, so we are going to find out the free space loss at the frequency 6 GHz. Here the formula for this free space loss is FSL that is equal to 32.4 plus 20 log R plus 20 log F. So we have to simply substitute the values of R and F over here. Then we can get the values 32.4 plus 92.465 plus 75.563. We can add all those values to get the free space loss at 200.4 dB. This is the answer. Okay. The next problem is very important one. A satellite link operating at 14 gigahertz has the receiver feeder loss of 1.5 dB and a free space loss of 207 dB. The atmospheric absorption loss is 0.5 dB. And the antenna pointing loss is 0.5 dB. Here the polarization loss may be neglected. Calculate the total link loss for clear sky condition. So here we are going to find out the total link loss for clear sky condition. So for that we have to add all the losses together. Okay. So it's very simple one. So in the solution part we have to write the given data first. Here the free space loss is 207 dB. The receiver feeder loss is 1.5 dB. The atmospheric absorption loss is 0.5 dB. Antenna pointing loss that is also known as antenna misalignment loss that is equal to 0.5 dB. So to get the overall total link loss we can simply add all the losses. Actually the formula is having the one more loss that is polarization loss but here it may be neglected okay so simply we are going to add all the losses to get the total 
link class. So here its value is 209.5 dB.